Hi there, and welcome back to the Dag in the Dear YouTube channel. I've got some amazing news. I don't have to use my shitty post-war gas mask cancel shops anymore. Because I have new ones. From Pantelstorm. So there's a quick little warning up front. This video is going to be very very long. The first two for a few minutes are going to be the review on the uh, Pantelstorm straps. And the rest is going to be uh, the a way to attach your uh, gas cape pouch and a way to attach your straps. Uh, somebody might already know this, most people might already know a lot of this, but if you want to see the whole video, be my guest and go for it. Uh, I would greatly appreciate the views. So there we go. These right here are my shitty post-war uh, straps with the brass buckle here and the weird end pieces that are not completely correct and the weird black painted end clasp that is not that sturdy at all and these right here are the new Pentastore straps and I must say I am pretty impressed I don't own any originals but uh, I've been taking a look look at some at a lot of originals and the MP44 website, the FGM44 website, and of course the Der Sezouk website, and these seem to be quite correct. Just for a closer look, here you can see the color of the hardware, the color of the straps, and the pattern that the straps have. And you can see the way the edges are folded on the left there. So there are a few things that I looked out for when I looked at the originals which is the color of these straps and the color seems to be quite correct uh, there are a lot of different colors used on original gas mask straps um, this seems to be within the realm of possibilities the pattern seems to be reasonably well made uh, well or correct uh, compares nicely to the to some originals not all originals of course because again in the weave pattern uh, there are a lot of differences in originals um, the ends right here uh, again you can see that they are folded over and machine stitched into place I've seen originals where they were just cut on the ends and then they were uh, hand stitched uh, on the edges uh, there are a lot of different ways these end pieces were made. Uh, I think this is well reasonably reasonably well. This is a kind of a nice neat way to end these straps. The only uh, thing I'm not completely sure about is the color of the clasp and the colors of the um, studs. I think they are within the realm of possibilities. I've seen some colors that come pl pretty close. But, uh, well, I'm not completely sure about those. But, of course, you could theoretically paint them over or, well, make them look different with some aging or something. Uh, I think they are okay. They are not, maybe it's, maybe it's not the best color, but it's more than acceptable. I will show you the long strap. Very nicely stitched into place. Um, this clasp is a little bit, well, it has some sharp like edges, um, which is not wrong, I think, but, uh, well, you see some different variants on originals. So, again, within the realm of possibilities. The quality seems to be quite nice, and again, on this strap you have the folded over edges, and the stud on this side. So in total with shipping I paid something like I believe just underneath 20 euros for this set with shipping included that is um, you have to determine for yourself if you think they are worth it. Uh, I don't have any originals to compare these to so please check out some originals for yourself and determine for yourself if you like these yes or no. Now all we have to do is Put these on my gas mask canister. So these are going away. And there are a few different things that you can do to 
put these on here. And first you have to determine what way you want to carry your gas cape pouch. So what I always did was just strap these to the side of the canister with a leather equipment strap and keep it like that. However, um, early in the war, as you might know, these were kept on the front sling on your chest. Um, so you can access the gas cape easily. Uh, however, not many soldiers needed to use them very often. Uh, and they were a thing that got in the way, basically. So people started putting them on the gas mask canister. But uh, High Command wasn't too happy with that. Because it, uh, they thought that it would damage the cape itself. So you, it wouldn't be usable in, just in case you actually needed it to protect yourself. Um, so what they came up with, and this is a order that came out in 1942. I'm going to put a link to the DSSUK website where I got all this information from. In 19, 1942 they determined that if you didn't want to keep this on your chest, you were to strap it with these straps on the side here, on the end of, um, well basically, the long strap that came through here to the bottom. Um, if you have these post-wash straps that I used to have, you are not going to be able to do that uh, very easily uh, because of the differences between those uh, post-wash straps and the um, originals. So I'm just going to show you how you can use these reproduction straps to attach this the proper way uh, from the 1942, uh, yeah, 1942 order. I'm just going to start uh, right now. So first of all you have your long strap of course. Uh, I have seen both on originals uh, both ways. You can attach this to this side or to this side. I like to carry it on this side um, because it is just as authentic and of course uh, you can uh, adjust the way the canister sits because this is on the front which is easier to adjust if you have to. So try to use this method. Keep this stitching up so the folded part up and you take the end of the strap and you feed it right through here and then of course the way this buckle works you feed the end of this strap back through here and I'm sorry if this is a bit boring to look at but uh, it's more about the part where I'm going to with this and you feed it back through there so this is the easy part of course um, the way this sits now is this fold sits between these straps which is less irritating if this is on your chest uh, Otherwise you would have this bulge uh, irritating your chest or the place where the gas cape used to sit early in the war. Um, now, what I did um, in the order, the pictures that came with the order, they would have the leather reinforce reinforcements on here, which meant that this strap would be a little bit more sturdy. But since I don't have the leather reinforcements because I do later war, um, I'm just going to loop this back through, preferably behind there, which means that once you have the gas cape on here, and for example you put this on the shelf for storage or for display reasons, otherwise this would just fall over and this wouldn't stay up properly. Um, I find this to be better for display reasons. What the original order said is the following. You put this strap through here, like you would use, uh, like you would do anyway, and you put the stud right through there, um, and then you feed this part through here. You attach this side like that, and you would put that right there. So the nice thing about this is that you only need one stud, so you have one extra 
Um, and of course this would be strapped on. Uh, on this strap I didn't do that because you can see now how it actually sits. This is the way the order was given. So this is the way that you are supposed to do it if you can. Uh, I couldn't do this with my post war straps because the end pieces were too thick. Uh, but I can do this now. So this is the regulation way. And uh, this is better than just strapping your gas cape to the side uh, with an equipment strap. Uh, if you cannot do this, however, um, the Der Erste Zoek website gives an alternative, um, I'm just, which is this. You just strap this piece like uh, usual. And now you just, um, well, I'm not going to put this on yet uh, for, uh, so you can see better. You can just do this again and strap this on on the bottom. And now this would be on there, of course, but you still have these two pieces uh, separately. And I have seen some original canisters where this was put on uh, the exact same way, uh, like this. Um, and this is the alternative that I suggest, which uh, looks the same way when you have the gas cape on there. Um, but for now, I am going to use the regulation way, just because I think uh, that's nice, because I was never able to do that, and I'm very excited that I finally can. So, uh, you have looped this around, which gives it a little bit more strength. And you just use these loops to strap this on. Now, I'm going to do this again. Let's see if the camera still works. I'm sorry, this is a very long video. Um, I just wanted to do this because I was very excited that I finally can. So this can take a little bit of effort, but if you have uh, proper reproductions, or original straps. Uh, I don't think you should use originals, but let's say you want to put your originals like this for display reasons only. This can be a little bit of a hard part to attach these three straps because of course these studs are made for two straps of thickness and not three. This is a later order, but it does work. And now I have my straps on like the regulation way given in 1942. So that's nice. So why would you do this? Because it is a way lot more effort and there is a lot more pressure on these little straps on the back of your gas cape pouch. Well, as you might know, every soldier was issued four of these. Uh, some sources say at least three, others say it's four. I'm going to go with four. Um, I just have one at this point with a label that I made myself and some tape that I put on myself just to make it look nice and dandy. You also have these, which is basically the uh, fluid version. Um, so I have lost my documentation for this. Uh, if somebody knows where it came from, I would greatly appreciate it if you would help me out and send me this information. But these were to be worn in your tunic pocket. However, uh, of, of course these were not to be worn in here in your gas mask canister that was prohibited. Now, uh, if you are wearing your cape like this, and I have seen photos where this was actually done, also, when this was worn on the chest, I also did it this way sometimes. Um, in a lot of original photographs, what you would see is that uh, there would be... Oh, it's original. Uh, reproduction cape. Uh, that these would be worn in there. The four of them. Originals were a little bit tighter than this reproduction. This reproduction is a little bit on the large size, which, made it, which makes it a little bit bulky. But in originals, this would sit fairly tight. And what you would see is that there is a little bulge right here. Because there are four of these sitting there. And you can 
really, really see the shape, of course, uh, on those pictures of how these would sit in here in this pouch with multiple on a row. Um, since I only have one, I'm just going to throw this, throw these both in here to get a little bit of the same effect, to get a little bit of volume in there, which I like actually. As you can see, they're on the bottom here. If you really want to, you could stuff like gloves or something in here. Um, I imagine somebody in the water did that, um, if you really want to. Uh, as I said, I lost the documentation. I thought it was in the Facebook group. Uh, maybe it was in the old group that is deleted because I can't find it anymore. I can't find any information, real information on the out and give to Smithel in the Facebook group anymore, which is a shame because it is quite an interesting little piece of history. Um, so yeah, this is how I have it on now. I strapped this through here. And I put this on there just to keep it on a little bit more tightly so it looks like uh, it fits better. Uh, maybe there are reproductions that are a little bit smaller so they look neater. But these are within this size of gasket pouches within the realm of possibility. So I don't really mind this. And I put the uh, stud that I have left over right here with the scheibe in the top just in case um, I need it sometime so this is how I have it set up now according to the regulation way given in 1942 so I do apologize this turned from a review video into a full-on how to put your straps on your gas mask canister video with a lot of other things that I didn't intend to be in there and I didn't intend this video to be this long. But I hope I gave some new information. I hope I gave you some different ideas. I just wanted to say again, um, don't just buy these and don't just assume because I said they are okay and I find them good enough that you are going to like them as well. Ask a unit, do your research for yourself um, Basically, don't just believe anything that's put on the internet, not by put on here by me or any other YouTube reenactor or um, any other website. Uh, most of the time, a lot of YouTube reenactors, not me, but the other ones that do this for a really long time, if they say something, then most of the time it is actually correct. And most of the time, when the really old, lot of experience type websites, um, put something on their website, uh, like the Sicherungsregiment website or uh, the Soldaten Forum, which is techn technically a website, or the MP44 website. I'm going to put the links to all, this, all of these in the des description, of course. Um, and FGM44. If those type of websites put something on, it's most likely going to be good information. That is true. Uh, all I am doing is re uh, repeating that information and hopefully reaching somebody that didn't yet see those sources um, but do your own research look up pictures of original gas mask canisters and look at the straps and how they are attached and determine for yourself if these are correct and if you want to put them on this way um, so yeah be your own boss do your own research uh, and ask your unit if you trust them which most likely is the case if it is your unit. Um, so this is going to be all for now. This video has been going on for long enough. I have been rambling and rambling and rambling on. Um, if you have any tips for me, or if you have good sources that I haven't uh, mentioned or haven't used, or I haven't maybe haven't seen yet, uh, please send them to me. Uh, send me a DM on Instagram and just, um, give me that information i would greatly appreciate it uh, if you like the channel please subscribe we are nearly nearly on 50 subscribers which is just amazing i'm really happy with that thank you very much thanks to all of you um, and i hope you have a great day and i hope to see you in the next video so thank you very much and auf wiedersehen